Russia's Vladimir Putin and China Xi Jinping have reunited for their 43rd meeting, this time in China. They issued a joint statement backing North Korea that they're against U.S. military intimidation toward the regime. Shin se has the details. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin have expressed their opposition to military intimidation by the United States and its allies towards North Korea. The statement came after their summit meeting in Beijing, where the two leaders signed a joint statement on Thursday. Putin's visit to Beijing marks his first foreign trip since beginning his fifth term last week and highlights the growing importance of China-Russia relations. This is the fourth meeting between the two leaders since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. In the joint statement, Xi and Putin condemned the military threats and confrontations by the U.S. and its allies, which they said heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula. They urged the U.S. to de-escalate military tensions and abandon the use of sanctions. The two leaders also agreed to deepen military trust and cooperation, expand joint exercises, and regularly conduct combined sea and air patrols to strengthen military collaboration. Later that day, the two heads of state held a restrictive meeting for an in-depth discussion on strategic issues of common concern, particularly regarding the ongoing war in Ukraine. President Xi emphasized the need for a new security framework in relation to the Ukraine war and reiterated Beijing's commitment to a political settlement of the crisis. He also expressed support for an international peace conference at an appropriate time. Regarding the recent Putin-Xi summit, the U.S. criticized China's stance, saying Beijing, quote, cannot have its cake and eat it too when it comes to its relationship with Russia. You can't uh, want to have good, further, stronger, deepened relationships with Europe and other countries while simultaneously continuing to fuel the biggest threat to European security um, in a long time. The White House also brushed off Moscow and Beijing's reaffirmation of ties. In a briefing on Thursday, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said that the Biden administration doesn't see anything new in the joint statement. The summit between the Chinese and Russian leaders comes as Moscow has become more dependent on Beijing. With China refusing to condemn the war in Ukraine and with increasing sanctions from the United States and its allies on Russia, Deepening cooperation between the two historic powerhouses means relations with the U.S. are likely to become even more tense. Shin Se-byok, Arirang News.